I found my wife chatting with her college crush, I confront her. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. Thank you for your time. My wife had an emotional crush on a guy in college 18 years ago. But the guy did not accept her proposal at the time. But they have been in contact on and off all these years through social media. My wife told me everything about him and up until recently they were just friends. I found out yesterday that they have gotten quite intimate on social media for a year. I saw all her texts and the guy had been regularly asking for her pics and revealing clothes. My wife had sent cleavage bearing photos to him if not anything more explicit. My wife's into spirituality and the guy has been portraying himself as spiritual and that's where I think my wife is emotionally connected to him. At one point in the conversation, she told him I am in tune with you. We are married mentally. Love you lots. Lately they may have moved to Telegram which is much more secure so I don't know how far they may have gone. I was seething with rage but I calmed myself down and approached this rationally. I have two kids and they must not be harmed in any way due to this. I admit that I have been so engrossed in work since I am upskilling myself and transitioning to a better position. I also have a night shift at work and two kids. This led to me sleeping late at night in another bedroom alone for almost two years. She sleeps with the kids early. Naturally non-existent sex life. While she has great respect and care for me and is always there when I need her, I believe she drifted away because of perceived lack of emotional support and no sex life. Today I tried to get naughty with her and asked her for sex, and she was ready in an instant. We had a good time and she was totally into it. I totally want to save the marriage despite the heartbreak. I have to deal with this very pragmatically because both of our families also go along very well. I confronted her without showing the evidence first and she said they do chat on and off but it's nothing more than that. I then slowly revealed the chats and she looked all hopeless and said that she tried to stop him from crossing limits while chatting and not to chat in a specific way. I put my foot down and told her that she cheated nevertheless and that she can either leave or go and see with that guy. In the above description, I paraphrased what I thought I read but the actual conversation was I am in tune with you. We don't necessarily have to chat like this. We are married, she said she meant we both are married and not that we are mentally married and that she could never say such a thing. She said she knew the whole thing was going wayward and had finally put an end to it, restricting conversations to casual friendly talk and showed me parts of a newer conversation where she appreciated me and how happy she is with me. She then lamented that karma hit her nevertheless and I saw older chats. She said she had met him just once when she went to her native town along with other friends and had let me know about the meeting, she did let me know. She said she has not met him in private ever. She was at home all the time at her mother's place as she was pregnant with our second child. I asked her about the pictures and she said she had sent him normal pictures and showed me parts in the conversation where he was coaxing her to send revealing ones. She said she was stupid and delirious dead in the night to have sent him three revealing pictures. She said she realized it was a mistake and tried to steer away the conversation with him to mundane topics. She said she tried to reconnect with her old friends after we moved to a new city and was hoping for some meaningful connections with people she knew for old times sake. She said she had good memories of his college friends but now realizes that people change over the years and that the guy has turned into a creepy predator seeking cheap thrills. We both have the same passcode on our phones. So I scanned her phone and found no new conversations. I asked her to send the guy one last message not to contact again and that I know everything. She did what I said and also agreed that the guy's wife deserves to know everything. Just before bedtime she broke down and apologized and said she didn't want to hurt me and that she wants me and loves me over anyone else. She said I am justified in seeking separation but that she wants to save the marriage. I said I honestly can't think straight and that I am heartbroken and that what she did was not right. She cried herself to sleep. Today morning she apologized again and said she was being stupid and realized during the convos that the guy wasn't the same college friend she knew and that he has changed and should have ended conversations earlier on. I said I want to trust her but right now I can't. I need some time. Here are some of the best comments from our community. If she is sorry, ask her to see her phone that instant. Check for Telegram, Signal, Kick, Line, Kakao, or whatever else people use to message these days. If the app is password locked, have her unlock it. Check her recent pictures and deleted pictures. You need to know how far it has gone as you already have proof of her saying she is mentally married to another man and sending him racy pictures. Do not settle for her showing you her phone later as that gives her a chance to delete stuff. If there are any new texts, 
make sure the time stamps and conversation flow lines up, because if they don't, she has been deleting them. Hey man take your time. I understand that an emotional affair can be just as damaging as a real one. The trust might take month maybe even years to come back but if you work it or try couples therapy things could change even if it's not a guarantee and not saying to try right this second but if she's willing to do whatever needs to be done to save your marriage it might be worth a shot as long as she understands never to do it again because an emotional affair is just as bad as a physical affair emo I mean thank god it didn't turn physical because for me there's no way back from that but I hope you work it all out brother stay strong and keep your head up. I see you are from India. I'm from India too and just a year ago caught my wife cheating. Just confront her. Ask her what she is up to and what her relationship with this guy is. If only I had evidence to confront my wife I would have stopped it a long time ago. Don't delay it, else it may become physical too. Feel free to PM me. Your wife's reaction after the confrontation was nearly ideal. She didn't hide anything, didn't lie in your face or delete messages. She cut all contact with this guy when you asked and even agreed to talk with his wife. And she didn't blame you for anything. This kind of remorse is very telling and very rare. I know your trust is broken right now, but, in my opinion, this marriage is worth working on. Good luck. Emotional affairs are worse than physical ones so consider this as cheating and decide whether cheating is a deal breaker for you or not. Confront her with evidence so she would not be able to get away by lying. She is already on the way to ruin married life so put your foot down. Have you considered the reputation? of all the risk that is waiting to happen when people find out about her cheating? There is absolutely nothing keeping the other guy from telling other people, especially if your wife cuts him off and he becomes bitter. You also aren't sure this is the first time she cheated. This is just the first time you caught her. I commend you for being able to approach this situation rationally and trying to understand your wife first before doing anything else. I think at some point you should definitely confront your wife about it but only when you feel comfortable. If reigniting your sex life is something you're able to do without everything else bothering you then do it but if you feel like you can't really be in the moment with her because you're upset about her emotional affair then I say confront her then. It's really based on your feelings and what you want and what you're comfortable with. Good luck. You got this. If you're serious about keeping the relationship going, and it can't just be for the kids, you both need to go to a therapist separately and together. Fourth, she might leave you. There is always a chance she will. I'm sorry this has happened to you, but a better sex life will not stop this. And if it's been going on for a year, she doesn't feel guilty over it, she feels powerful and fulfilled by this and likes the attention and possibly the adventurousness of having an affair. Stupid and delirious in the night, is that a medical condition that made her send him tit pics? Or is that minimizing? She's still wayward if she's saying shit like that. She's not safe. Reconnecting with your college crush is not the way to resolve your marital shortcomings it only makes things worse. Sit her down and talk with her about this. OFC it has to stop, completely and no second chance should be given. You both should try counseling and your wife needs more to occupy her time. Get a lawyer consultation first and weigh out your options. In my book based on your description, she's cheating at least emotionally. But having that discussion with her does nothing for you right now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.